Republicans attack reporter over don't say gay. Don't say, don't say gay. As inane as it sounds, that is the latest right-wing attack on LGBTQ plus people. And in the middle of the fight is a gay South Florida Sun Sentinel reporter, Scott Travis. In this week's SFGN, online and on stands tomorrow, I look at the new level of pettiness from the right. It began when Travis linked to a story about the don't say gay bill that just became law on Friday. Now, technically, the name of the law is parental rights in education, but became known as don't say gay, much the same way as the Affordable Care Act is ubiquitously known as Obamacare. But this time, right-wingers are having none of it. Travis's Twitter account blew up including a response from possibly shadow Trump advisor Stephen Miller that reads, quote, that's not the name of the law. Travis tweeted back, that's why it's in quotes. But the name recognition for don't say gay among the public is far higher than the bill's actual name. It's a good lesson in marketing and branding, end quote. Now that's all it took for the right to declare a gotcha moment. Miller responded, quote, the lie is good and journalists will use it if it's branded well. You know, this is a good lesson, end quote. Travis shot back, quote, not just journalists, the name stuck, end quote. Well, that tone doesn't just encourage people to act out against LGB plus, it empowers them. The law prohibits mentioning anything related to sexual orientation in lower grades in Florida. And anyone who disagrees, including the students that are purportedly being protected, well, they get shot down. Travis has been with the Sun Sentinel for more than 20 years and is part of the team that shares a Pulitzer for their coverage of the Parkland School shooting aftermath. And you can read more on my story and his response in this week's SFGN online and on stands tomorrow. And didn't you also say that Travis is part of our community? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, he is. He is gay. Uh, and his story, uh, which SFGN has covered previously, uh, his story is fascinating. How he his journey of coming out, not only personally and professionally, uh, it, it's it's worth reading into. He's a professional and he seems like a really good guy. Mm -hmm. It's interesting to me um, because the story uh, and the, your story in SFGN is is quite good, but it's a story about nothing. Yes. And what, what's interesting about it is this very big story is a story about nothing. The Republicans and the conservative GOP are complaining that they got outmarketed. And, and the GOP has frequently, over the last decade, been far more successful than the Democrats, in my opinion, in watching both sides, have been far more successful in playing the chess game, the game of thrones. And the Republicans have been much better at it. Donald Trump is a perfect example. He has branded every Republican candidate that ran against him in 2016 as little Marco hmm. or whatever the, the, the phrasing of the label would be. And it started in, uh, in 2009 and 2010 and 11 of Obamacare. And they really decimated the response of the limitations of what was going to come uh, from the National Health Care Act that was brought about with the president of the United States at the time, which happened to be Obama, to clarify, to say, wait, Obamacare equals something we think is terrible, but we're never going to explain it to you. We're never going to give you an alternative, but it's Obamacare. It's bad, so you know it's bad. It's bad. And and that's the thing is Republicans have always been really good at marketing, or at least have been good at marketing as long as as long as I've been um, able to understand politics. Um, and and that's what and that's what why it's especially annoying um, that that they're saying, oh, this isn't what it's called. This isn't what the bill is called. If I hear one more person say the bill doesn't even say gay in my comment section on TikTok, I swear to God, <laughs> I, I will I will I will shut down the whole app I, myself. I'll find a way. It's 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 yeah, ridiculous. sure you will. No, you will. Yeah, my, my two years of, of computer science and, and yeah. Right. Well, but talking about names, P R I E, right? The parental rights couldn't be a better acronym. Pry. Yeah. That's exactly what they're trying to do. They're trying to pry. Yeah. Great acronym. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. 
like this broadcast, and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.